software developer, professor, and entrepreneur. These are just a few faces of a woman who left Brazil to make her history in Canada. In the past four years, she graduated at the college, opened two companies, closed one, and sold another, and it's currently working as a software engineering manager and as an advisor of her former company. The nose that she listened to never stopped her to move forward. I talked to Marcia Stepanich, and this is a little bit of her story. The actual purpose was to study, but uh, I actually came, you know, to, to start a new life here. I had several different uh, positions inside of the IT area. So my idea was not to change, and that's why my company was also a technology company. I already sold the company, and the company was technology, and I'm still inside of the technology field. I, I studied at Humber. Uh, I did an entre entrepreneurial enterprise. I have a diploma. Actually, when you start college in Canada and you have a little bit of background, you know, somewhere else, you feel like you can do more. So I decided to open my own business and uh, my business was a B2B only. And the whole idea was we, we were a distributors of home and hospitality technology and were not. The company is still there and it's still selling and still doing that. We would provide uh, for our customers the products in a cheaper price, so obviously they could, you know, put a price on top and, and sell it for more and make profit out of it. And also, uh, we would train them how to use and to install the products, so they would be uh, uh, with that stamp, you know, that they have uh, the knowledge of installing that product. So, um, would be sales plus trainings. I decided to sell once I noticed we were going to be in a in loop, right? So sales every month, go after customers, you know, put the invoices on, receive money and keep going in this, in this loop. It's not something that I am good at, you know, keeping a loop. And uh, knowing myself, I was not going to be happy in this situation in the long run. So right now I'm kind of advisor per se. Uh, I, I speak with them, I, you know, I'm beside the company. I feel like my baby grew and I sent, you know, it to the university. That's, you know, it's not close to me anymore, but uh, it is there and it's growing and it's going to grow even more and more. Here we are multicultural. So here you have several different mindsets that you can reach. And this is the beauty of Canada because here you, you can have like equality in all the levels uh, and then sex, race, whatever you think about is going to be equal. So, and it's more fair for everybody. So, and, and it's also good because people can afford things. So I really believe the whole market helps a lot, you know, for, for the environment of having entrepreneurship here. Being a foreigner is a challenge because when you were foreigner, you're not used it to the weather, you're not used it to the language sometimes, you're not used it to the culture. FCBB has, you know, the perfect match for whatever you need in terms of the network, networking. Because if you if you need, for example, a lawyer, if you need, you can obviously you can go on Google and and find, right? But uh, having FCBB to intermediate this this relationship is is going to bring you know bring you someone that is already filtered, is someone that has reputation, is someone that has a, a background to give you, to provide you whatever you need and you're gonna have with no effort, with you know like the minimal efforts I would say, you know, a, a great result and faster. So this saves a lot of time, obviously when saves time, saves money, saves a lot of frustration, especially for someone who is new to the country and needs a new a new business, uh, things for the new business. So I believe it it's saves a lot time is money and and if you're opening a business you don't have you know how much of time you have to be efficient in whatever you do and it's gonna be awesome by the end however be prepared because it's not easy and especially when you're in a new country you got to be brave just you know make some plans be realistic to yourself be realistic to the challenges you're gonna face because they are big and they're bigger than you can imagine because you're in another country, in another culture, and you're gonna face everything and learn everything. So if the, the regular learning curve is like this, your has to be like this because it's a new country. So I just say, 
when you get there, oh my god, that's great. So go for it.